hundreds of employees on rig fall prey to megalodon sharks. On this offshore rig, Mark was sent by the oil company to do maintenance work on the machines. But when he arrives at the rig in his boat, strange things happened. The deep blue water was dyed blood red, and hundreds of employees disappeared. When no one responded, Mark went down the corridor to the inner command room. He opened the steel door. It's a scene that's been uninhabited for years. There was dust everywhere. He had a bad feeling. The next moment, two men with murder weapons asked Mark who he was. They were about to make a move. Mark said he was a machine repairman from headquarters. It turns out that half a month ago, the drilling platform lost all contact with the headquarters. And something terrible happened here. That's why Jack and Ben were so alert. After learning that Mark came to the rig in a small boat, they became nervous. Then they took a big step outside. Mark followed them out onto the deck. He pulled out his binoculars. A fishing boat with a mother and daughter was coming towards them. It turned out that Mark's wife was worried about her husband's safety. So she came out on the rig. But what they didn't realize was, a large megalodon shark is slowly approaching the fishing boat. As it dives to the bottom of the ocean, it's about to attack the boat. Jack on the rig fires a flare. The shark is turned away from the boat. Taking advantage of this gap, Lisa and her team climbed up from the boat. They were lucky to have escaped. But then next moment, her daughter fell to the bottom of the sea. It was a scene of many corpses. It turns out that hundreds of employees on the rig had already fallen prey to the sharks. That's why they were so cautious. As the shark opened its bloody mouth to eat his daughter, Mark pulled her up from the bottom of the ocean. The shark abandons the rig and targets the fishing boat. It opened its mouth and instantly snapped the boat in half, witnessing the shark's attack on the humans. Jack had to tell the whole story of the disaster. It turned out that they had been attacked by a shark a month earlier. The employees left the rig in a boat to escape, but they all fell prey to the sharks. The only way out of here is to fix the rig's internal radio. And Mark is an expert in this field, so Jack and Ben dive into the ocean to reconnect the damaged power lines. Mark was in charge of repairing the equipment. As the submarine slowly dives to the bottom, repair work has begun. How to survive a megalodon attack in the deep sea? Jack and Mark used a submarine to get to the bottom of the ocean. They opened the hatch and jumped out of the submarine. They began emergency repairs to the power supply. But there's a time bomb planted in the depths of the rig. If they don't get out of here in time, they'll all be killed. A megalodon shark passed Ben and almost threw him off his feet. He got into the submarine just in time. But then next moment, the shark opens its mouth and pulls the sub towards the bottom of the ocean. In the end, Ben became the shark's prey. After this failure, Mark and Jack realized they were no match for the shark. There is less than an hour left before the bomb explodes. Someone had to make a sacrifice. Mark chose Jack to take his wife and kids in the lifeboat. He put on a wetsuit and went to the bottom of the ocean to defuse the bomb. His wife watched as Mark dove into the depths. He defused the time bomb strapped to the rig and strapped it to himself. Now the only way to save the sharks is to delay them. In the nick of time, Mark swam into the cage to avoid the shark's fatal blow. At that moment, his wife managed to escape to a safe place with Jack at her side. Mark finally chose to die with the shark. He picked up the time bomb and slowly swam toward the shark's mouth. With a violent explosion, Mark and the shark were reduced to ashes. Eventually, Jack and Mark's wife and daughter were rescued by people on land. 